But you know, we formed in 37 or maybe 38, we formed the NBC Orchestra. You know that. Toscanini was the conductor, but he chose all the members of the of the orchestra. He wanted some people from Los Angeles, the great bassoon player uh, Fritz Moritz, and the great horn player Brain, and uh, some other people, but they didn't want to go. So they remained here. So he was the really the conductor that formed the whole NBC orchestra. Strangely enough, I don't recall whether he really conducted the NBC orchestra. It was mostly Tos Toscanini. Uh, he, uh, one incident in the Hollywood Bowl when he conducted, he had the ha he was very happy with the orchestra. So he arranged the program and then said, we don't have to rehearse this program. But I, as a young clarinet player, I said, wait, I never played this piece. So I went to him, he said, don't worry, I will give you cues and I will take care of, take care of you. And one, he had the habit of making jokes. One joke I remember, I think happened in Cleveland. A elderly lady came to him and said, Maestro, I don't know the program, but I must tell you first that the, the great composer from Harvard, his name was Piston. Piston. So as a joke, he told the lady, Bach, Piston, Beethoven. <laughs> it's a joke, an old joke. Uh, my, uh, uh, I don't know if I could make any more or, uh, examples of my relation to uh, uh, Grozinski, except that whenever he re returned to conduct here, he was very happy with this orchestra. Actually, sometimes he wasn't a very pleasant man. He joined an organization called Scientology. At that time, 